All right, so I'm gonna continue working on these corners and we'll work on these a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff with the plasma cutter. Cut off stuff. Um, one of the little tricks is to use a straight edge. I'll just use this thing, a little straight edge to hold against something and pull a nice straight line. It actually cuts so much faster even than the, I have a metal shear and it's always messing up. So it's easier for me to just use this thing to cut everything and it cuts it very clean. Um, if you're thinking about buying one, make sure you have 220 um, because a lot of the one, you know, the one I have, and I'm sure the other ones are just like it, probably have the same guts inside. Uh, they don't work for the beans on 110. Um, just keep that in mind. So anyway, we'll start cutting up some stuff. I'm gonna make these little mud flap things because I'm already got them patterned out. Then I'm gonna make the other half of this battery tray for this thing. Let's take a look at that. This one here has like half the battery tray missing. In my last video, I did make a pattern on the battery side battery tray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make the piece like a little bit longer here and I'll just lap it and then you know hammer it either hammer it down or maybe I'll put it in the bead roller I'm not sure it doesn't really matter I could probably use a ball end of a hammer and hammer that around a nice nice little circle and it look fine from back in there so that's how I'm gonna do it we'll see I did get some of the stuff I need for this um, they only had this in 16 gauge so it's pretty thick it'll be actually really strong um, if you just wanted to get a good deal on this stuff um, I went to Riverside uh, ornamental iron supply and I did check their prices compared to like IMS metal and it was about a third of the price just keep that in mind if you have a wrought iron supply place nearby you might want to go there I did pick up some pieces here that I'm gonna use for the frame remnants from IMS Metal. IMS Metal has pretty good prices on remnants. I didn't really want to buy a whole piece. And what I'm going to do is use a plasma cutter, cut this into C channel. Um, the C channel, I, I don't think I could find, I mean, they may have had it, but I didn't look for that carefully, um, is normally like a uh, like an iron piece where it doesn't have, doesn't look like sheet metal like this does. Um, this is like 12 gauge. Um, what's on there is probably 14 so um, they had 16 and then they had 12 gauge so I just went ahead and got you know I couldn't in the remnants they could buy it you know a 20 foot piece <laughs> which would be kind of overkill and probably pretty expensive so I just got these remnants and it'll be a little stronger than a normal piece so we'll see how that goes but I think what I'm going to do is just focus in on getting these corners kind of together you know i'm gonna have to take this stuff off i gotta measure and see how to get the exact same height on these as the uh with these double tail lights maybe disassemble that uh, maybe i'll do some cutting on those and kind of get them ready but i don't think i'm going to do the frame repair yet um, i kind of want to get it inside and put it up on the stands that i was talking about in the other videos um, you want to go to the playlist and get back and check out the Rest of them stay on this thing because this is pretty. You know, people think that this is not fixable. I've had people go, oh, just junk it. You know, well, you know, it is the oldest bucket truck in existence. I can't just junk it. Okay, it's got to get fixed. And it's really, it, it looks really hard to do. But if you think about it, you're right on top right here. Everything's right where you can get to it. Um, it's not like it has to be it's actually probably easier than doing a rotisserie repair um, Because you have to roll it around do a little section roll it again do another section I think I get most of this from right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna put it on a rotisserie afterwards I may not I'm not sure um, It just depends on how bad the front is and I don't know how bad that is until I kind of get this part supported up and then we can tip it on its side or crawl under there or whatever uh, maybe when I put it up on stands We'll get underneath it, do a video on just that, the front. And I'm sure it's pretty bad, but it's probably fixable as well. All right, enough with the talking. Let's get busy.
wrap on the top, underlay on the bottom. Yeah, just so you know, it's all this is all this rust is all treated, so underneath, and uh, it'll be encapsulated. It's already done. So.
gonna fill that hole. Just one piece that goes in there was missing. Gotta make this stupid thing here. If you don't have a sheet metal bender, you duck up on it. All right, that's about right there. I got a lot of extra metal here. Jump some of that off. Sure, you guys had to. A little bit. Where this pliers at? Hang on again. Get a little sharper bend than that. There you go. Nice and sharp. Gonna take off all that. Well, anyway, just gotta make this piece here fit. Gotta repair that little thing. I mean, there's like so much work to do on this corner. Just one of these, and I've got two to do. So, if you can look there, still, I mean, after I'm all done, I gotta do filler. I gotta cut out the tail lights. I had to cut out all the metal that I wasn't using. And so this one here, I cut out all this piece, all this stuff here that I'm not gonna use. Um, I eliminated the little lip. There's a little lip that goes up and over. And then I'm just gonna drill holes and weld it to the actual tubing that I'm putting in there to make it a little easier. And then I'll just put a flat piece of metal that hangs over the edge on the top and use that to weld on or to crimp the whatever they're called the bed tops or whatever the corrugated bed stuff it has a little crimp edge you have to bend over I don't know I haven't seen it yet but it should have that on there so anyway a lot of work to do on these these things are just like once I get these finished then there's probably as much work to do on these things as there is to do on Geez, half the frame, you yeah. know. Well, that's gonna take a lot of time. I got these things here all cut. Um, split them in half. Uh, I got a little bit off on my cutting, just a little bit, but it won't matter because I'll just bend that edge and then it won't, you won't be able to see it. So it won't matter. I could grind it a little bit if I want to. Same thing here, you can see this one's a little bit longer than this one is. Not a big deal. Doesn't really make any difference on that piece. So, anyway. Well, I gotta tell you, I lost you on these corners. Right. Gotta, gotta make this stupid thing here. If you don't have a sheet metal bender, you can duck bill fire. Alright, that's 
about right there and I got a lot of extra metal here. Have to dump some of that off. I'll show you guys how to do that. A little bit. Where this pliers at? Hang on again. Okay, a little sharper bend than that. There you go. Nice and sharp. Gonna take off all that. Well, anyway. Gotta make this piece here fit. Gotta repair that little thing. I mean, there's like so much work to do on this corner. Just one of these. And I've got two to do. So, if you can look there, still, I mean, after I'm all done, I gotta do filler. I gotta cut out the tail lights. I had to cut out all the metal that I wasn't using. And so, this one here, I cut out all this piece, all this stuff here. I'm not going to use. Um, I eliminated the little lip. There's a little lip that goes up and over. And then I'm just going to drill holes and weld it to the actual tubing that I'm putting in there to make it a little easier. And then I'll just put a flat piece of metal that hangs over the edge on the top and use that to weld on or to crimp the whatever they're called, the bed tops or whatever. The, corrugated bed stuff it has a little crimp edge you have to bend over I don't know I haven't seen it yet but it should have that on there so anyway a lot of work to do on these these things are just like once I get these finished then there's probably as much work to do on these things as there is to do on geez half the frame you know well it's gonna take a lot of time I got these things here all cut um, split them in half I got a little bit off on my cutting, just a little bit, but it won't matter because I'll just bend that edge and then well, you won't be able to see it, so it won't matter. I could grind it a little bit if I want to. Same thing here, you can see this is a little bit longer than this one is. Not a big deal. Doesn't really make any difference on that piece. So, anyway, that's it for this thing. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, there's going to be some videos that will be more interesting, interesting than others. This one probably isn't very interesting, but there will be ones that will be uh, a lot more fun to watch. But this stuff is kind of really monotonous and boring. But uh, it's just something i got to make a video on since i got to do it. So I might as well make a video on it. I'll talk to you in the next one. Gotta fill that hole. Just one piece that goes in there was missing. Well, I gotta tell you, I lost you on these corners. Gotta make this stupid thing here. You guys who don't have a sheet metal bender. Alright, that's about right there. I got a 
a lot of extra metal here. Have to dump some of that off. I'll show you guys how to do that. A little bit. Where this pliers at? Hang on again. Okay, a little sharper bend than that. There you go. Nice and sharp. Gotta take off all that. Well, anyway. Just gotta make this piece here fit. Gotta repair that little thing. I mean, there's like so much work to do on this corner one of these and I've got two to do so if you can look there still I mean after I'm all done I gotta do filler I gotta cut out the tail lights I had to cut out all the metal that I wasn't using and so this one here I cut out all this piece all this stuff here that I'm not gonna use um, I eliminated the little lip there's a little lip that goes up and over and then I'm just gonna drill holes and weld it to the actual tubing that I'm putting in there to make it a little easier and then I'll just put a flat piece of metal that hangs over the edge on the top and use that to weld on or to crimp the whatever they're called the bed tops or whatever the corrugated bed stuff it has a little crimp edge you have to bend over I don't know I haven't seen it yet but it should have that on there so anyway, a lot of work to do on these. These things are just like, once I get these finished, then there's probably as much work to do on these things as there is to do on, geez, half the frame. You know? Well, that's gonna take a lot of time. I got these things here all cut. Um, split them in half. I got a little bit off on my cutting, just a little bit, but it won't matter because I'll just bend that edge and then well, you won't be able to see it. So it won't matter. Could grind it a little bit if I want to. Same thing here, you can see this is a little bit longer than this one is. Not a big deal. Doesn't really make any difference on that piece. So anyway, that's it for this thing. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, there's gonna be some videos that will be more interesting, interesting than others. This one probably isn't very interesting, but there will be ones that will be uh, a lot more fun to watch. But this stuff is kind of really, monotonous and boring but uh it's just something i gotta make a video on since i gotta do it so i might as well make it
so we got all these things cut out for the supports for the top we just mashed them up to this this is the top rails for the back cut they were out of the good chop saws over at Harbor Freight, so we got one of these little ones, and it seems to be all right. This little thing here does the job. So we got these frame rail pieces we made up and bent. If you guys saw the footage on that, it's kind of straightened them out enough, you know. It's not really a focal area. Here's the rough end. Can use this. We use this big stone grinder to clean them up the top edge and just use a flapper it comes out a little bit wavy but it's fine when you get it all in there shoot tell me one of those things that hasn't had an accident all right so anyway got this thing here all primed up or uh, a that rust treatment on here it's all drying out now it's about ready i can start working on it and i need to do these things still so I'll just trace them on the outside. I was going to graft this in, but the metal's just too shot. There's nothing left. So I'm just going to trace them out, and cut them out of here, uh, and make it ready for the tail lights. Then I'll finish the patchwork on this one. i got a lot of patching to do here. i got to patch the inner panel and all that. So anyway, that's it for this. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Uh, Please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you keep making those comments. Uh, those things really help out. And I really appreciate you guys doing that. I noticed a lot more people are doing that and liking the other comments. It really does help um, make the video visible enough on YouTube's search so that people can find it easier and gets the watching up so that we can create enough revenue to pay for this crazy project, which is super expensive. So anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.